really big bag guys I had to get out of the store before I got anything else it was like a dream come true Got Thai food. อันนี้ข้าวผัดพริกขิงอันนี้ข้าวกะเพราไก่กรอบ So excited So I'm working on this thousand piece jigsaw puzzle that I got from piecework puzzles and this one is called rise and shine i chose this one because i really like the colors and i think it would be really cute to display this puzzle on my dining table once i'm done this is my progress after around one and a half hours i managed to separate all the corner pieces and i started some top pieces and other corner pieces so this is my activity for today have you ever seen a melting cat <laughs> Mosa, she's so hot. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. <laughs> she's like a pancake. After four hours, we finally finished the corner pieces. Breakfast is served. <laughs> Hi friends, so in May I sent out all my Patreon mail using stamps and today I've rounded up around three missing packages. Usually missing packages stress me out so much but today I actually feel so excited because it means that I get to pack mail <laughs> again and I feel like I've been missing this a lot because I'm not gonna be able to do it for a couple of months so I just feel very excited that I get to go to the post office again today. I'm also gonna think about opening up a PO box so that I can use that address specifically for my shop stuff like the return address. Um, this one still has my old address from where I used to live so I don't really care about showing it anymore now that I've moved. Sleep while dry 
driving in the backseat What's left of me? Drowning in my fears just like an ocean Negativity is getting closer Hi friends, so yesterday I was feeling a little unmotivated so I wanted to do this cat study based off actual photos um, just to get my mind running again and I've been having a lot of fun drawing cats with big chunky paws and I love it so much like look at the chunky paws this makes me so happy today I decided to do an illustration with one of these sketches let me show you so this is what the illustration looks like this morning Mosa found a beetle in our apartment and she wasn't happy about it she was trying to paw him and chase him away because she's very territorial I've been doing a lot more line art these days because I feel like it helps show the details of Mosa when I draw her specifically Mosa's a black cat so when I illustrate her without line art I feel like I can't really get the details of how her paws are positioned and stuff I also spent some time this afternoon drawing the stretching cats and I think they look so cute I want to turn them into stickers to send to my old patrons I wanted to draw different cats doing the same pose and I'm still experimenting with like the big paws that I mentioned earlier I like them so much I think they're so chonky I'm currently obsessed with big paws <laughs> Last piece. Good morning everyone! Today is Sunday and it is Peter and mine's first Sunday off so we're planning to do a little picnic in the park. 
I made this kaijiu hom or egg and onion and I also cut up some strawberries. We're cooking up some rice. I have canned tuna here and some sesame seeds and we're gonna make rice balls. I think I'm gonna crush up some of the seaweed and add it to the rice balls too. But yeah, we'll show you what everything looks like and I'm gonna show you the picnic setup too. Omelette with onion, a failed rice ball, deconstructed rice ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One giant rice ball. One giant rice ball, and this is the real Thai siracha. Mm. friends while you watch me assemble this ikea kitchen cart let me tell you a little bit about our sponsor for today which is skillshare as many of you already know i have been using skillshare for many months they are an online learning community with thousands of fun and inspiring classes for you to choose from and i especially love skillshare because they have classes for every category and ranging from every level beginner to intermediate to advanced some of my personal favorite categories are fine art illustration photography graphic design lifestyle and also video editing a class that I would like to recommend to you today is called flat lay illustrations by Liz Kohler Brown in this class Liz talks about how to work with flat lay compositions and how to determine where highlights and shadows should go on your image I personally struggle with filling up an entire canvas as I have mentioned many times and I also tend to draw things from only one perspective so this class allowed me to experiment with drawing from a different point of view as you can see here I am drawing drawing a picnic scene from a bird's eye point of view. So if you're interested in checking out this class and many others, you can join Skillshare today for less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. And the first 1,000 friends to click on the link in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium today. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video.
Hi friends, I hope you can hear me but um, it's raining outside and there are a lot of cars going through so it might get a little bit noisy but today I decided to film with this setup because I'm dealing with quite a sore throat and I'm trying my best to recover but I just don't really want to talk loudly towards a camera because it hurts I just have my camera set up right here and the microphone is right in front of me You can see the butt of it here Hopefully it'll catch my voice and I won't have to talk too loud But I just wanted to give you a life update and tell you a little bit about how the move has been going So like I mentioned in my last video, the move was very physically and mentally tiring for both my partner and I And initially we wanted to take our time moving Moving in, slowly unbox everything, slowly decorate. But my parents are going to be visiting in five days. They're flying out of Thailand Wednesday night. And so we had to rush a little and unpack everything to make the place more accommodating for them. But aside from that, we've been enjoying this new apartment very much. As you saw in the last video, we live right next to a reservoir. So a new habit that my partner and I are trying to pick up is to go for a light jog every evening around the reservoir. We haven't been exercising much during the pandemic, so we want to get started and take better care of our health. This video will probably be my second and last moving vlog and I feel a little lost about where I want to go from here on because I don't have my shop and I'm not doing patreon So I don't know if I can call my vlogs studio vlogs anymore. It feels more like Lifestyle vlogs a week in my life a day in my life I'm also very interested in starting a self-love series, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that with um, all the family stuff that's going to happen in the next few months so we'll see. I think I just have this fear that people only like my studio vlogs and if I post any other content, no one would be interested in watching. But I just want to stay true to myself and post content that I feel comfortable sharing. And for me, like even if I film my everyday life, just going for a walk, going for a picnic, cooking in my kitchen, I already enjoy editing those things and compiling them into a vlog. So I really, really hope that you can enjoy them too. I have a doctor's appointment today, so I'll be leaving in 30 minutes um, i think they're gonna check my vaccination records it's for visa stuff so hopefully i don't have to get any shots today but we'll see thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video i am getting back on track with my wednesday uploads so i will see you all next week bye